Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Isa Litton, your host for the 2020 NCCA Composition Prize Awarding Ceremony. Today, in the midst of a pandemic, we celebrate new music from young Filipino composers together with award-winning musicians who will be performing the winning works. Through this competition, the NCCA has, in these uncertain times, labored to contribute to the continuing development of a pluralistic culture and the enrichment of Philippine music. Pivoting into the virtual world, the composers, musicians, and everyone involved have come together remotely to honor these artists and new musical creations. I'm sure everyone's excited to watch these wonderful performances today, creatively put together by our organizing team. But before we proceed to the premiere of the winning works, let us first listen to the head of the NCCA National Music Committee. Everyone, please welcome Dr. Felipe De Leon Jr. for the opening remarks. Ako po si Felipe De Leon Jr., ang tagapangulo ng National Committee for Music ng NCCA. Pinakikilala ko po sa inyo ngayon ang tinatawag namin Composer's Prize. Isa itong panigsahan sa pagsulat ng musika na ginagawa tuwing ikalawang taon. Ito ay hindi ordinaryong musika Ito ang tinatawag natin classical music o concert music na hindi madali ang gawin. Masalimuot ang struktura nito. Kailangan medyo nag-aral kayo ng kasaysayan ng musika at mga iba't pang teknik para sa pagliksaan ng ganitong uri ng musika. Ang naging mga kategorya sa taong ito ay composition para sa solo instrument, para sa chamber music, para sa art song at rambalya. Meron tayong nanalo sa solo instrument at chamber music at rondalya. Ang nanalo sa rondalya ay si Rylan Hulayko. Magaling ang gawa niya. Ang nanalo naman sa dalawang kategorya. Solo instrument at chamber music ay si Oke De Leon. Magaling itong dalawang ito. Batang bata pa sila. Gusto natin mabigyan ng suporta ang paggawa ng ngayon itong klaseng musika. Maraming klaseng musika sa Pilipinas. Merong pop music, tinatawag natin OPM, merong folk music, merong musika ng katutubo. Pero ibang uri ito ng musika nito. Ito ay medyo malaking hamon sa intellect natin. Sapagat masalimuot, sari-saring laro sa isip ang kailangan maintindihan at isagawa, mahirap din tugtugin. Kaya binabati ko ang mga nagbagi, si Narayan, hulay ko, at Oke De Leon para sa kanilang malaking tagumpay sa pagkapanalo sa Composer's Prize, isa sa pinakamahalagang paligsahan sa musika ng NCA. Thank you very much, Dr. Felipe De Leon Jr. for that truly warm welcome. For this year, the NCCA Composition Prize has winners in three categories. Mr. Railan Hulayko garnered the prize for the Rondalia Ensemble category. And Mr. Okir De Leon won in both the solo instrument and chamber music categories. So for the first performance, let's all listen to Mr. Okir De Leon as he presents his winning piece for the solo instrument category, Piano Sonata No. 1, to be performed by pianist Mr. Paolo Panagsada. This is Piano Sonata No. 1. From the name itself, it's my first piano sonata. And being a form of absolute music, its appreciation is solely on its structure and construction. Therefore, I may get a little technical in this introductory, but in any case, this piece, although called a sonata, doesn't necessarily strictly follow the standard format of a sonata. You'll still hear the exposition of different themes, their development, as well as their return, 
but it's done so in a manner that makes the form its own. Another thing that separates this piece from the classical sonata is its musical palette. Here, I experimented with the whole tone scale. So what I did was I took the two whole tone scales and combined them so that the two said scales are being played and heard simultaneously. So in other words, I formed a bitonality of the two whole tone scales. Additionally, this piece is also very rhythmic, comprising of polyrhythms, ostinatos, odd rhythmic groupings, and unusual syncopations. So to summarize, structure manipulation, whole tone bitonality, and unusual rhythm, these things all interconnect and ultimately make up this piece, Piano Sonata number one.
very, very much to Mr. Paolo Panagsagan for that amazing performance. Up next, let's welcome Mr. Railan Hulaiko, winner of the Rondalia Ensemble category for his work, Kansilai, which will be performed by the Kabataang Silai Rondalia Ensemble, of which Mr. Hulaiko is a member. According to the legend, there lived a maiden named Kansilai, the Dafiri chieftain, the village by the sea. Kansilai was betrothed to Lawaan, a hard-working gentleman of the village, and they were soon to be married. However, before the wedding, Lawaan joined the young man for the yearly pangayam, or hunting. While Lawaan and a few tribesmen were away, pirates plundered and slaughtered the village, killing many, including Kansilai's father. The daughter of the chief Kansilai gathered the other villagers and sought for the help of the fairy. Diwata gave Kansilai a sword, and then she quickly went back to the village. They fought bravely, but they couldn't hold off the pirates. The Waan and the other tribesmen arrived in time to help, and the pirates were defeated. But Kansilai's life was already taken by the pirates. The villagers lovingly buried Kansilai, and then one day, the villagers saw a plant growing on Kansilai's grave. The plant became a large tree with purple-pink flowers, which she named after Kansilai, a tribute to her bravery.
you very, very much, Kabataang Silay Rondalia Ansam. Absolutely splendid performance. Now, once again, let us welcome back Mr. Okir De Leon to give a short background of his winning piece, Magindara, which garnered the prize for chamber music category. Magindara will be performed by the Impossible Trio. This piece is inspired by the beautiful yet menacing mermaid known as the Magindara. This mythological sea creature originated from ancient Bikon at a time when religion was non-existent, when the only way our ancestors could make sense of everything was through mythology. And for them, it wasn't just a belief in invisible beings, but rather a key into defining who they were and what they were supposed to do. Ancient cultures, not just in the Philippines, but around the world, regarded the sea as a dangerous place, populated with beings who preyed upon sailors, particularly men. In Greek mythology, the siren was one such being, a creature that is half woman and half bird. The Philippine counterpart is the Magindara, a half woman and half fish. This malevolent mermaid possesses not only beauty, but an enchanting voice as well which they used to sing spellbinding songs, attracting and hypnotizing sailors, luring them into the waters. This is portrayed in the second movement of the piece, where the through composed form, usually reserved for art songs, is used, along with a series of haunting melodies. The contrasting first movement showcases the piece's rhythmic vitality, overflowing with syncopations, ostinatos, and effervescent interplay between the instruments. In similar character, the third and final movement recalls material from the previous movements, thus musically unifying the entire work, embodying the Magindara as a real, fearsome creature of the sea, just as our ancestors believed. <laughs> Thank you. 
much for that stellar performance by the Impossible Trio. Finally, to close our ceremony this afternoon, how about we listen to the message of the Chairman of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. Everyone, please welcome the Honorable Arsenio Nick Lizaso. Ang makasining na araw sa ating lahat. Throughout history, humans have looked at music as a source of solace, as something that can help us process and transcend emotions. Now, more than ever, we need music as medicine for the soul. Today, we honor those who have dedicated their talents in bringing forth musical pieces that speak to our hearts. Today, we have come to the fruitful closing of the 2020 National Commission for Culture and the Arts Composition Prize. When we began this uh, competition back in 2016, our goal was to uh, encourage the Filipino people to have a direct hand in the development and enrichment of the genre in Philippine music literature. After all, creativity springs forth from interactions and collaborations. This is how we inspire and bring forth change and hopeful push towards creative development. That same goal is prevalent today. With the winning pieces, submitted by Mr. Okir de Leon for both chamber music and solo instrument categories and Mr. Railan Hulaiko for Rondalia and Song. We have once again proved the dimensions and nuances of Filipino creativity and talent in music. They have demonstrated over a significant period of time, dedication to their craft. This competition is but a step onto our journey towards inclusive and culturally grounded development, sparking creativity of our people along the way. Rest assured, the NCCA shall continue to push programs and competitions that are relevant to our sectors and creative communities. On behalf of the NCCA and the team behind the competition, the Subcommission on the Arts under the leadership of Commissioner Rolando Tolentino and the National Committee on Music headed by Dr. Felipe de Leon. We wish to extend our most heartfelt gratitude to everyone who has come to partake in our quest towards the cultural and artistic growth and development in Philippine music. The list of thanks is very long as the competition is a result of an amazing and unique cooperative spirit within the proud and beautiful landscape of music life in our country. As we celebrate the culmination 
of the NCCA Composition Prize. We hope that we have inspired new ideas that will help build on our vision for the Filipino culture, a culture that is the wellspring of national and global well-being, a culture that is grounded on the values of marangal, malikhain, at mapagbabo, a culture that is truly Filipino. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang mga kompositor ng ating bayan. Thank you very, very much, Chairman Lizaso, for that truly heartwarming message. We hope you enjoyed our program this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Muli, pagpupugay sa ating mga nagwaging kompositor na sina Mr. Raylan Hulayko at Mr. Okir De Leon. Mabuhay ang ating mga musiko ng bayan. Of course, thank you very, very much and a big applause to the team behind this project as well. Marami pong salamat at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you.